Okay, here we are for issue number four. Get it all set up. With the world still recovering from a devastating mutant attack and a hardcore anti-mutant father, Miles is not happy with his new situation. A situation he has shared only with his best friend, Genki. Please, please, everybody calm down. Everything is going to be okay. You said Spider-Man's been shot and the city's gone crazy. Here, I'll zoom in. There, that's better. And the city's gone crazy. How is that okay? I told you we don't have all the information, Genki. I told you what is on the news. We have a city mandate to gather you in drill formation and wait for further instruction. Can I call my mom? We are already in the process of calling your parents. Cover for me. Miles, just please, Genki, cover. Cover? What are you going to do? Here's Miles, sneaking out. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. And he sees something big happening over here. Jumps off a building, not even wearing shoes. Bold choice. Peter Parker's last stand. And he's fighting, this is the Green Goblin. So if you read the other Peter Parker uh, Spider-Man run, this is kind of like one of the last issues. I will destroy your family like you destroyed mine. I will kill everyone you know. Could you do it? Quietly smash. Good, good fighting line. And Mary Jane says, there you go. And he like he brings a truck down on him. And Miles sees this from afar. Oh man, fa-boom. So this is Peter here blowing up. Here's Miles kind of running to the scene. It's okay, I I did it. Just just hold on, the ambulances. Don't you see? It's okay. I did it. I couldn't save him. Uncle Ben, I couldn't save him no matter what I did, but I saved you. I did it. I did. And people are gathering to watch. And Mary Jane is crying. And Aunt May is crying. And here, he's, he's dead and she's hugging him. And uh, Aunt May is hugging another girl, probably Gwen Stacy. Oh God, not him too. Please not him too. And everyone's very sad. Miles jumps down. What was his name? Peter Parker. Spider-Man, R.I.P. New York City's fallen hero was Queens high school student, Peter Parker. So after he died, everyone realized who he was. And Genki's like, you were there? You saw it? What did you see, Miles? This was my fault. What? Instead of being a coward, how is this at all? You know I could have stopped this. If I had used my powers when I first got them, like I was supposed to, like you told me to, if I wouldn't have been hiding in this room, then by now my whole life would have been different. I would have met Spider-Man. I would have been in, in the loop. Loop? I would have known what was going on and I would have been able to help. Maybe. Yes, I would have been the extra something that stopped this from happening. Maybe, or maybe you would have gotten killed too. I was given these powers for a reason. You said it. And I sit here scared of my dad. I'm scared of everything. And now look at what's happened. Pretty heavy moment there for Miles and Genki. Or maybe... Maybe this is what you were given the powers for. Maybe you're supposed to be Spider-Man now that we don't have one anymore. Maybe you're Spider-Man in the on-deck circle, and now it's your turn. And Judge comes in. This is crazy. All the bridges are closed. You think we'll get the day off school? What? The funeral of Peter Parker. Um... And if you've seen the movie, if you've seen Into the Spider-Verse, this is where they got that scene from Into the Spider-Verse. In front of the church, giving speeches. Miles and Genki right up to the front. Excuse us, sorry, excuse me. Are you Spider-Man's mommy? No, sweetie, I'm his aunt. But you made him breakfast like his mommy? Sweetie, it's okay. Yes, sweetie, I did. When I was little, Spider-Man saved me from a fire so I didn't die. Do you need a hug right now? And Miles says to Gwen Stacy, who was a friend of Peter Parker's, why did he do it? Why did he become Spider-Man? That was 
chillery. So she just gave him like a dirty look. <clears throat> and then she spins back and uh oh, I like how Miles is, of course, afraid of a teenage girl because his uncle, the guy who raised him, died. Peter thought he died because even though he had these powers, he didn't do anything to help. At least that's the way Peter saw it. And his uncle told him these words, words he lived by, with that with great power comes great responsibility. Okay. Wow. Why'd he wear a mask though? Dude, because he didn't need anyone to know who he was to be a hero. And it looked cool. Miles goes back to his room and he's sketching. Oh my God, do I not know how to do this? And Genki comes in, say thank you. What did you do? No, you say thank you because I just made your life insanely easy. Spider-Man costume and mask. And again, this is just like what you saw in the movie. Um, this was first, of course. You've got to be kidding me. That cost $80. You just spent $80 on this. Not just for you. I wore it for Halloween last year. Oh my God, you did. I totally blanked that out. You blanked out a 75-year-old lady lecturing us for 20 minutes about how we were too old for trick-or-treating. How do you block that out? Because it was the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to you? It happened to you too, Frodo. Wait. You spent $80 on a Halloween costume to get like $10 worth of candy? I was going for authenticity. Put it on. Is this in bad taste? Hell no, you're honoring the dude. Lock the door. And here he is, swinging through the city. Not swinging yet, he doesn't have webs. Oh my God, what was I waiting for? This is amazing. This is, oh man. Okay, okay, big question. How am I supposed to sit in class all day when I know I can crash? Crash? Spider-Man, no more, please. Copycat hero rips up city. And <laughs> we see, we see what happened here. It was really, it really was in bad taste, was the opinion of one of the dozens of New Yorkers who were witness to the calamitous debut of a young man who took it upon himself to dress as Spider-Man and take to the night. Though he was victorious in a powered street fight with a career criminal who calls himself the Kangaroo, witnesses say that his lack of skill and naivety made the battle a clumsy dance of, maybe it was in bad taste, you think? Wow, the bugle is really dumping on you. That's the newspaper. Really? Uh, really? I thought they loved Spider-Man. I remember they used to dump on him too. I just thought I'd get a chance to thump thump. Uh-oh. Guys, why are you locking the door? Hello, I heard you in there. Sorry about that. Why did you lock the door? I didn't, it must have locked itself. Can I come into my room? Hey, I forgot to ask, did you do the calculus? Let me in. What's going on? Nothing. You don't lock the doors. I didn't, it was stuck on a... I mean it. Yes, sir. Sir, what's going on in here? Reading. Why? What's up? The door doesn't lock. It's against school rules and it's a fire hazard. Okay. You guys are pals and we let you room together. Don't make us rethink it. It was an accident. Hmm. This teacher probably doesn't believe him. Judge, what's your deal? Tired? This is not going to work. How did you do it, Peter? Well, you probably didn't live in a shoebox dormitory. Okay, I need more practice. I need to come up with a plan. Why am I talking to myself all of a sudden? Okay, so last time I got a little lucky finding a weirdo bad guy to practice on. If we're now calling things like that lucky, I need to figure out how to find the bad guys before they do bad stuff. And he jumps off, ha ha, oh my God, this is never going to get old. And he gets kicked. Okay, also, I need to figure out the buzzing in my head thing. Head buzzing. Is it cancer? Did the spider give me scrack? Ow! Ow! Katang. So someone kicked him in the face. I'm Spider Woman. The question is, and I want you to think really hard about how you answer, who the do you think you are? To be continued. place to end i think and here's your next cover pretty cool picture and letters okay and we'll stop right there